suggest it, we play it. Suggested gaming. Because we haven't done the intro. Hi everybody, welcome to Suggestive Gaming. This is me, and that's Josh, and this is Frank. We're good. That's the first time anybody's done an intro that wasn't Josh Picard. It was the first for everything. <clears throat> also, this isn't Suggestive Gaming, this is uh, Big Pick Farald. Yeah. And... But still, I'm gonna get you on semantics. Isla Hags, that's where my, all my ex-girlfriends live. Hey, you haven't said that before. No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you know what? Funny jokes. Funny jokes here on, on Think Pig Farald. I think this is the first time uh, we've done a Think Pig Farald where we've actually called it Think Pig, Think Pig Farald. Well, we kind of did last time. Did we? It was a... It was a uh, well, the last time the first time. Yeah. Oh, we've done this a million times. We just were wearing the same clothes. <laughs> You're right. never said an N-word. Mm -mm. Alright, you gotta get stony. Oh man. Hey, do you know that, uh... No, I'm not gonna say it again. It's, I don't want to repeat the, the same episode. Gotta do new stuff this time. Alright. Audio right. sounds fine. If it's not, fuck it. Who cares? Four people watch this. Fuck like, it, literally, I think the last episode had, like, four views. Nobody cares about Victor. Yeah. They like a suggestive game. Right now we have, uh, zero, zero views in the stream. That's fine. But okay. you watching this later on YouTube, it doesn't matter to you. Thank you, everybody watching this on yeah. YouTube. We we actually do really appreciate you if you can share this among your friends. You know what? You should follow us on Twitch so you can watch this when we do this live. Because then we'll have someone to chat with. You can uh, you say stupid stuff at us, and we can respond. You know, like, look at you playing as a dumb bear. Ooh, can you go left or right in there? Are you sure? Don't talk, don't, don't talk to Chris about this. He knows this game like the back of his hand. He said he could beat it in like an hour. Well, this one will be about 45 minutes, right? Like, total, we play this. So, Chris, you got 15 minutes to beat this game. Well, the thing is, I was thinking, like, what's our next Thick Pick Farald, right? Mm -hmm. And if you guys will allow it, I can pretty much speedrun Tony Hawk's Underground. Oh, we all can. Holy yeah. shit. Really? Yeah. I, I beat that game literally in, a, in like, four hours. I... I, my top time was, was probably somewhere around two and a half. Oh, yeah, both, yeah. I don't have a to three. I didn't have a memory card on my game too. Nice. So I had to beat that game like 200 times. <laughs> I just love uh, the, the AFI song. It was like, I'm destroying the world. <laughs> Yeah, that was on. yeah, that was pitch perfect. No, no, no. If if it was pitch perfect, I'd be like. Uh... You have you have perfect pitch, right? I, I hope so. Get the scroll, Chris. Dude, get the golden scroll. The goal. Golden scroll. Wait, is it cheat code? Oh, uh, 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 yeah, the floaty book with the bone bitches. Oh, really? You get like big head mode or something? Oh, it's more of like a. Uh, you tickles damage? Take less damage and then you like slut and run faster a little bit. I'm gonna check the audio one more time to make sure we're on sync, actually. We're not on the sync, we're in Josh's room! <laughs> guys, 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 stop me if I'm being too funny. How did you know to do that? But how were you supposed to figure that out if you didn't know to do it? See, that, like... I think I was just like, why was the door open? And I, was like, oh. I just, I don't want to seem pathetic, but like, I can't figure that stuff out anymore. Like, it's I just, know, it's I'm not... Isn't it, isn't it weird, like, nowadays? Like, back in the day, like, I would play fucking Spyro and just like... Know exactly what to do. Yeah. But upon replaying those games, it's like, what the fuck am I supposed it's, it's to crazy. do? It's crazy. I don't know if it's just a, a symptom of like modern games just holding our hands. Maybe. Yeah, dude, our, our syncing is perfect. Our audio mix is great. This is going well, guys. This is going well. We should just record for six hours. Six hours of this? Six hours, just so we have it. Cause well, I Chris could be theoretically beat the game six times. No, 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 three times. It's two hours? Yeah. Alright. Right. Oh, what's in an hour? I don't know. Shit. I don't remember what I said. Chris, uh, check Ooh, out the Wait, 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 wait. What's. Wait, is there a bump in Banjo's uh, shorts there? There's a little oh, bulge. Oh, shit. Little, Does little, he have a bulge? A little bumpy bump. 
no, 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 actually. Go on, walk go on. towards the camera. Go on, go on. Because it actually splits up his dick. Go on, Kazooie again. Oh. Oh, look at, look at, yeah, right with the ball sack area there. Chris, uh, edit that in post. Ball sack? Oh, you're doing this one. And oh, Kazooie, yeah. I can blame it on you when it doesn't get done. That requires me to do work. I can't even make a goddamn thumbnail. Hey, at least you do stuff. I am... I do nothing. Dude, you make those descriptions. Yep. That make That's... the girls cry. Should I write emo poems from now on? Sure. I saw that you made one for Thick Pick File. Which, uh... Episode 2. Yeah, you're like, Frank says many a bad word. Josh makes great intros. Mm. <laughs> it was the, it was the banjo kazooie theme song. I just slowed it down and made it a piano. Alright, some feathers, man. So so, uh, what else do we have to do in this in the Mayhem Temple area? I can collect more small jiggies. I gotta get that guy that was sitting on the roof. Which guy sitting on the roof? The guy we just saw. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, you don't have to go back for me. The viewers can can go back and watch. Josh, go back and will. go back and post. Fucking pass, Josh. Shut up, future Josh. <laughs> feathers. What about mumbos? No, you no, have, no. There's some feathers in no, the window. There's eggs in there. Oh, those were eggs. You remember because we 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 had that. I wanted to play. Yeah. I wanted to get the eggs as mumbo just yep. to prove a point. To make to make sure we can still get them as well. That was the point we were making. Just we have one viewer. Is it me on my phone? Probably. This is our first time streaming Thick Pig Pro. Last time we just did it locally. That's true. And uh, zero people are going to watch, which is pretty nice. Pretty cool. So it's like we're doing it. Yeah. Cowboy level. Cowboy level. Is it, is this the one with the um, circus level? See, I like seeing this game as a complete outsider who's never played a banjo game ever. Well, there's that. Except Diddy Kong Racing. What did you just sound like? No, it's uh, the dude from the Office Space. Hey, Peter, man. <laughs> That's what I love. Two chicks at the same time, man. <laughs> yep. Dude, he's fucking. Uh, what's his name? I I can't remember his name, but he was in the Drew Carey show, and he was Batman. Brave and bold. Oh shit! De Deadric. Oh shit! De Deadric. Oh, you fell. Uh, not. Um, hey, Peter, man! <laughs> Turn on channel four. <laughs> what would you do if you had a million dollars? Tim feels good to be a gangster. Really? I can't. Too, too many bad words in the following. I know that song, but there's, there's too many. That movie is, like, incredibly relevant once you start working at office. Mm -hmm. real games are awesome. Like, Don't I relate to Michael Bolton more than I ever thought I would say that sentence. All I like. gotta say to you, wanna be gonna be a cocksucking pussy in pranksters. Just please don't say the animal. I know, I was, I was avoiding it. <laughs> I was avoiding it just for you so you didn't have to go back and cut it out. Josh, go back and post to where I was about to say it. And, and then... edit in your last one. <laughs> I mean, you never said that. You said bitch. We all heard it. Bitch. Uh, do, can you, do you know the code? 642. Yeah, that fucking bullshit ass code you sent me in the text message. Oh, 190428? When I asked you what time it was, this motherfucker said, I asked, what time are we doing it tonight, guys? This motherfucker sends me like fucking six numbers, a colon, and then three numbers. <laughs> like, I'm supposed to know what that shit means. So, I'm getting my phone out. Yeah, you gotta tell the story. <laughs> Frank's telling me this story. I'm like, you're a fucking crazy person. Where 
hilarious. Shit. Oh, get that honeycomb. All right. You probably need to play something else, right? All right. Here we go. Do you have to dive bomb from all the way up top? I say. See. What time tonight, boys? No, I remember how this says. You have to get down there. 19.048. Colon 291. Alright, so. I don't know what the fuck that means. So, I, okay, so it said 291, colon 291. So I'm like, alright, it's probably like 30. Because 29 plus 1 equals 30. So then, let's, really let's add up the stuff before the colon and see what that comes out to. That came out to 22, and 22 in military time is 10. So I was like, alright, 10. 20, 20, 10, 30, that doesn't make any fucking sense. We usually, I usually go over there around 6. So, that's out the window. And then I say, 6, 30? What? And then he texts me the number fucking twice again. So, then I take 19048 and I put it in Google. Now, 19048 is the number of the Bhagalpur Surat Express in India. It's a train, and that's the number that the train is. And that didn't really help me, but then I got to thinking about time zones. Now, India is in a different time zone than the United States, and we're also in central time, so I tried going in and converting, like, 10, uh, 30 from Indian time... <laughs> that would've been awesome! ...into North American time, uh, using the Bhagalpur Surat Express, uh, train. And that didn't work, uh, fucking at all, cause... cause. So, yeah, and then... Oh, all right. Then I go, I just, I, I went on a limb, I said 2212. Uh, just hoping that you would help me, and then Josh puts in 2112, and then a picture of Rush's 2112, the album. And then I say, I personally like Farewell to Kingsmore, also what the fuck do those numbers mean? And then Josh sends me a fucking picture of Roll the Bones, the worst fucking Rush album. Uh, I'll, and then I say, fuck Roll the Bones, Presto and Power Windows 2, what time tonight? Josh sends me the fucking number again. And then I say, I have tried everything I can think of, I can't decode that shit, 291 is 30, I'm guessing, so I, okay, and then I say I'm stuck. And then Josh doesn't fucking help me. I forgot that. Where I said <laughs> so if I could tell my side of that story, I was singing at work, and every now and then I would check my phone, and Frank would ask about the time, and I would just send the numbers again. <laughs> he was sending all these messages about Indian trains, I wasn't even reading them. I was just sending those numbers. I tried really hard to fucking figure that shit. Like, you don't know how hard I- It was a good, like, 20 minutes of me, like, putting on my fucking, like, detective hat and getting out my monocle and, like, mm -hmm. examining the shit out of it and Googling it, and I couldn't- could not- Fuck you. That's what- the moral of that story. If there's any takeaway, Josh is an asshole. Let's all remember the best thing to come out of that is that we all got to listen to Roll the Bones again. Yep. His and uh, yeah, Chris sent a photo in the midst of all of that. Of, uh... Of the cuddle huddle? Yep. Of, of three dudes hugging each other in a bed. I was in there somewhere. Were yeah. you? Oh, yeah. I, mean, I started it. Josh started it. Yeah. Um... But then all of us left, except Woody. If you haven't, uh, and, seen... And if you haven't seen the Roll the Bones music video, from Rush. It has a rapping skeleton in it. You should go and watch that. It's horribly 80s. Um, and if you haven't listened to Rush before, Chris's favorite's Hemispheres. What's, what's your favorite? 2112. 2112. Mine's Farewell to Kings. For the record. Not that anyone fucking cares. Right? But I mean, everybody just listens to some of pictures and they're like, I like that Tom Sawyer song! <laughs> it is a great album. <laughs> Have you ever heard Limelight? What about Red Perchetta? Um, do um, uh, how the fuck, um... My uncle had a country... I'm oh, sorry. Oh, dude. My uncle had a... Dude, don't sound too much like you. Ch Chris! Oh, he just went away. It's like, ah, <laughs> fuck this. He was disinterested. He looked at the wall, so uh, I guess that means I'm done. Here comes another cat. Uh, stick shield guy. No, no, it's fine. So, uh, somebody is a really good master of Banjo Tui as he claims to be. Uh, so the last time I played it was when I was five and I was a master then. Took mm. like you making this goddamn joke. That's bomb stick though. <laughs> so, like, a time in part two. Can't, can't let me figure it out. Just gotta make fun of me every time I can't. 
Oh, well, so, if you wouldn't have spoke so highly about your skills I in didn't Banjo speak so too, highly, but I said I could probably do pretty good at it. Yeah, take out half his fucking damage in one hit. Now it's all up to you, bro. Remember to roll. Getting serious. So this is, this is my favorite part of Dark, Dark Souls, I think, it's because they give you a really good intro and then just throw this really hard guy at you. Like, they really put your feet to the flames right in the beginning. Surpri surprisingly, I like that 